Hi there, I'm Carl. You may remember such videos as TG100. Oh, that's how it works. Or split bearings. Hey, I don't have to take the shaft out? I've been an employee here at Thornton Bearings for over 15 years. Before that, in my previous life, I was a marine engineer, so I've sailed about half the seven seas. Of that time, I've been a technical service engineer for a large part of it, so I've seen a lot of things in the field. Today is going to be a first though. We're going to take a bearing up 40 feet in the air, 12 meters for the rest of us in the world, and we're going to throw it off and we're going to let it bounce on the concrete. Why, you may ask? Well, my good viewer, one, because we have complete faith that it's going to survive the fall. Well, not so much the fall, but the sudden stop at the end. And two, this will be the first time I'm actually doing it on purpose. Well, the last time I did it, it's because I had the stupid greasy fingers and it fell off. But don't judge me for that. Anyways, let's get over and we'll go do it right now, alright? So here we are up over 40 feet, which is 12 meters. Ugh, I don't know. We sure we have to do this up here? Okay, alrighty. So here we are with the Thornton S6L bearing. We're ready to throw it over the side. So on the count of five, right? Five, four, three, two, one, heave! Fly free or not? Oh! So there you have it. Strength and durability. We've been doing this for 45 years. We know our stuff. There's a lot of ships around the world that have these bearings on them. Until next time, Carl, signing out.